guys welcome back to my channel so guys in this video we will discuss about how can you run composer version 2 in your share hosting so guys by default hosting girl provide you composer version 1 so that uh, you can't run composer version 2 globally in your share hosting so guys in this video we will discuss about how can you run composer version 2 in your share hosting so guys hosting girl provide you ssh terminal connect connection Okay, guys. So you have to log in your SSH ter terminal connection in your Windows server. So simply, I am I am in Hostinger and let's find out the SSH login access. So will you when you search here uh, SSH, you will see there is SSH access. So you can scroll down your built-in terminal in your device. Simply copy this command. Okay, open the command ter terminal and paste and enter. They will ask you password. So password how password is your you can change your SS, SSH login password from here when you click change password you will ask they will ask you new password and enter new password again so simply change the password and try login I have already changed the password to so simply right before login so simply when if this disabled if this disabled you have to click this enable this SSH connection terminal this will allow to this will allow to secure transfer and remote connection over the internet. If you don't enable this, you can't log in through SSH connection. So guys, simply let's enter my password. So, 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 password is incorrect. I have to change my password, I think. Let's try another. Okay. When you enter correct SSH password, they will log in you. So simply when you say there is domains. So go to file manager. Domains. So you can see there is three website in the file manager of Hostinger and SSH three website here you are seeing in the terminal. So guys, uh, now we want to run Composer version two. If if I see Composer version, so simply not found. Okay, let's. So guys, you can see when you run Composer version 2 in Hostinger, so you will see there is a Composer version 1.1026. So guys, now we need to run Composer version 2. Why? Because some of the Composer package require Composer version 2 to install the packages. So we can't run compo through Composer version 1. So by default, Composer version 2. So guys, now we want to run Composer version 2 package. So guys, simply I will give you let's say minutes. Let's upload a files. Let's go to the project testing. Okay. So guys, this file composer.phr. I will give this down. I I will give this link to download this file in video description. Okay. I need to upload this in Hostinger. So simply, I have uploaded this file in Hostinger. So let's go to the project test. So, guys, you have to place this file where where your composer JSON file already exists. So simply, if I run, how can you run this composer version two? This is the file of the composer version two. Composer for version two. Now you can see there is a composer version two point seven. Or if I if you will don't run by default, Hostinger provide you composer version one. But if you use this file, file and you will, you can run, you can easily run Composer version two. HP Composer. 
okay now you can install any packages with composer version 2 let's install the packages composer version 2 let's install the php library mail composer let's install these packages with composer version 2 so simply you can see there is a require so how can you write this command now simply i place write php and i write file name my composers composer.far and after that i will write this code copy this package and paste now if i enter now i can easily install packages with composer version 2 so guys if this video helpful for you so like the video and subscribe our channel so guys we to successfully install the packages so guys like the video subscribe our channel for more videos so guys bye we'll take a video